Well, hi, welcome to this week's episode of Handmade House TV. I'm Noah Bradley, and today we're going to talk about small steps, those critical first steps we take in order to achieve our dream home. Stay tuned. Well, all right, let's talk about those small critical steps that we can take now that will help us achieve our dream home. Uh, we're wrapping up uh, the, this year, 2017, and heading into a new year, and it means soon we'll be creating our New Year's resolutions that many of them will fall through. Uh, one of the critical uh, ways in, that I've found in order to make New Year's resolutions come true, uh, to actually do them, is to make these resolutions enjoyable, to make them something we're really looking forward to, to make them tiny steps towards our larger goal. And uh, this past year, I've undertook uh, uh, a few things that have taken me from just daydreaming about my future dream home uh, to getting closer and closer to actually making it happen. And I'd like to share those uh, few with you, and perhaps you'll consider those in your upcoming year if you found yourself stuck and you look back and you found you haven't made any progress this year in achieving that dream home. Uh, the first thing I did in the beginning of this year was that I built a log cabin outbuilding. Uh, I used it as the base for the Log Cabin Academy, and this small structure I was able to build here at my current home, and uh, it's something that I can easily disassemble and will put on my future property, and it will serve as a wonderful area to store my tools and my materials to keep them protected and secure, and it'll uh, prove as to be an asset uh, in the future uh, use on my property. Uh, the second thing that I did was that uh, I built myself a, a nice set of saw horses and I shared with you here on Handmade House TV how I assembled them. And, uh, and then here recently I uh, demonstrated how to build a stone mason's table, a, a good strong uh, stout table that will serve, uh, serve me well in the construction of my home. Uh, it, an outdoor table is a, is a critical element to have, and uh, by the way, the, uh, the log cabin outbuilding that I built cost me a total of $225 in materials. Uh, the uh, sawhorses I was able to build with a, with a salvaged uh, material that cost me absolutely nothing, and the same holds true of the stonemason's table that I had. And then uh, the, the uh, one more act that I've done since I've last been here on Handmade House TV, and by the way, I do apologize about the uh, absence of uh, my video creation here, but I really needed to take some time off to focus my, my uh, attention on the creation of the Stone Mason Academy, which will be starting uh, in the coming weeks where I'm gonna share how to, how to build with stone, how to, how to make the most attractive use of it in our homes. And uh, in, the, in the Stone Mason Academy, I built a stone fireplace, a fireplace very similar uh, to what I have in my home my current home uh, behind me right now, a nice arched uh, fireplace. And uh, it took me a total of about 40 hours in order to create all the stones in it. And it is something that I can take down uh, easily in just, a, in just a few minutes and I can reassemble it in less than a day's time and cement it in place on my future home. Uh, the fireplace behind me, actually, I've taken it, I've uh, built it and taken it down a total of seven times before it finally had its permanent location here in this home. And uh, so, uh, and those stones that I use in order to build this fireplace uh, cost me less than $100. Most of them were rejects from, uh, from other projects that I've had. Uh, some were that I found, but I did buy a total of three or four of them uh, at my local stone yard. So it doesn't take a whole lot, but I've made, I've made progress in useful things that will help me in my next home. But the most critical thing, and I guess this is the, where I want to wrap it up and focus for you, is the search for land. Uh, it costs you absolutely nothing to get out there and to look at land, to start uh, just going through all the real estate listings. Uh, Zillow is a great example. 
uh, when you're watching TV or just uh, reclining in the rocking chair just to see what current properties are, to see what the prices are. Actually go out there and take a look at the look at them. It's a, it's a wonderful experience to walk various pieces of land to discover the uh, attributes each has to offer and all of them fall short. There's no doubt about that. And so I've spent uh, a lot of time and I've spent zero money, cost no money to look for a property, uh, but I'm seeking that particular piece of property. And matter of fact, and kind of looking for a piece of land is kind of look like looking for a mate. And that is you don't want to settle for something that, that, um, that, is, that, is, that is good enough you want to look for something that you cannot live without. And uh, I believe that I've recently, uh, finally, after a year searching for a piece of land, I think I found the one that I just can't shake loose. And uh, I have uh, spent some time this year saving money, uh, diligently by taking it aside. And this particular parcel of land also has owner financing, which is a, which is a nice feature that you don't have to go to the bank to take it out. So my goal is to find a piece of land that I can pay for in a few years time. And as I do that, I will be building my home uh, out of pocket as much as I can. And uh, I'll be sharing that process with you. And, and uh, very, it's very likely that in the coming year, I'll be sharing this new piece of land that, uh, that I've gotten. And uh, I'm looking forward to that. So uh, anyway, thank you for sharing today. Thank you for stopping by. And uh, we look forward to seeing you next week. Uh, next week, I'm going to, uh, well, we've got some really exciting episodes. I'm gonna show you uh, how, I, how I light a fire in a fireplace. Uh, we're gonna, in another episode, we're gonna talk about uh, fireplaces versus wood stoves and lump rumford fireplaces. Uh, also, uh, perhaps the, the, the best video I think I've ever produced, it's coming up uh, real soon here. Uh, and that is, uh, 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 I've, in the searching for land, I found uh, yet again examples of owner-built houses that were that turned out tragically. And I've seen literally hundreds of these, but uh, this particular example I think will be eye-opening for you. Uh, and I'll share with you a couple of my observations, and you very well might have some of your own. Uh, but I uh, look forward to that coming soon as well. I would like to thank five new members of the Handmade House Guild, Steve Stemmler, Rick Begley, Kimberly Nelson, Olag Zuchinko, and Dorothy Graves. Uh, I wanna thank all of you guys for uh, helping support Handmade House TV, for joining in with all that Handmade House Guild uh, offers, and uh, I look forward to uh, each and every one of you joining us within the Guild. So until next week, this is Noah Bradley. You take care. We'll see you then.